Hey guys, Mo Silva here, formerly NFTV. <clears throat> I decided to change my channel name uh, because NFTV stood for non ferris TV. And back in the day when scrapping, I'm going to say recycling, non ferrous metals, copper, aluminum, brass, red brass, yellow brass, and sometimes even steel was a sort of a prosperous venture. I mean, I didn't actually drive around in the Sheeny Man truck, but in my line of work, we come across a lot of motors, uh, air conditioning parts, so I would always scrap that stuff out. But that stuff's been in the toilet for quite a while. <clears throat> and in fact, one of the local places where I used to take it to to recycle. Um, actually closed up in January of this or yeah January this year <clears throat> so I've been collecting coins and stacking uh, since the mid 70s but I really been stacking hard since about 2005 and I think it's more of an appropriate name for the channel at least it works for me I'm really not doing non ferrous like copper and aluminum anymore I will still keep it and compile it or stack it if you if you want to and uh, you know that that's what I've always done when I get a couple hundred pounds I go over to the scrapyard and have a couple hundred dollar day so but anymore with the prices it's not worth my money so update on yesterday's video I got these uh, a mark silver rounds from a uh, one of the suppliers and they had this really weird copper edge to them and I'm like what the hell man these look like you know 1980 silver halves so I actually sent a picture of it to the people at Amart and a really nice girl there Kelly got back to me and said no that's just toning on the edges so how they didn't tone on the face I have no idea but I use these uh simple shine silver wipes and it cleaned all the toning off and uh, trust me I am not a coin cleaner but in this case the copper edge made the thing look like a mid 70s Kennedy half dollar and it was kind of bugging me so she got back to me right away last night um, I think their help desk out there is open from uh, 11 p.m. till 5 p.m. I know it's a long day and it's uh, California time so I sent an email last night and I'm like hey I got these things you know what's the story with the copper edge well it wasn't copper it's just toning as you can see it's all cleaning right off but for as long as I've been collecting coins and stacking I, I've never seen anything like it like I said besides on a maybe you know the half dollars and quarters and basically all the coins after 1969 so anyway those cleaned up great an update for that and update for the channel my new youtube name is mo silver um, i have a lot of ounces of gold and i did a spreadsheet on it and i'm all in for for all my ounces i'm all in for like 1050. so with the stuff being at 1600 1650 I think I'm going to cash my gold out because that's a 60%, well, at least 50% gain. And is it too early? I don't know. Is gold going to hit 4,000? I don't know. But I think a 50% gain, and that's probably, uh, that's over 10 years. So it's not huge, you know, 5% a year. Is that a huge gain? No. But it was always something that I had in my possession too. It wasn't like, uh, you know, if I bought a, a stock that could go up or down and was never really real, just on paper. So <clears throat> I think uh, I think I'm going to get out of the gold for now. I have a pretty good stack of that. And uh, last time I got out of silver was around 2000. 10 or 11 when it went to 40 bucks I was all in then for like 8 bucks and I got rid of a few hundred ounces at 
damn near 40. I think I ended up getting about 37 for it. So I'll take my gains, I'll take my wins. And uh, I think right now I would silver at 18 bucks. I, I, I don't think it's cheap, but it's right in the middle. I mean, I bought it for eight and I've sold it for a damn near 40. So at 18 bucks, I'm gonna keep stacking silver. All right, guys, that's today's update, February 27th, 2020. Mo Silva checking out.